Ahoy there, mateys! I be Captain Treeks. No, I'm not going to do this again. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Treeks here, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Welcome back to Rusty Bucket Bay. Last time we actually got started with this stage from the very beginning, so we can definitely say the entire last episode was dedicated to Rusty Bucket Bay. However, it was not enough to fully clear it. Let's go try doing that today. There's still a couple of things left on the ship and on the side area, so we still have our work cut out for us. And I can see I forgot about the mumbo token at the tip of the ship. And let's go into this pipe first. I think this is the final one we have not done yet in this course, so we can uh, scratch that when we're done with this one. And this is actually the galley, or the kitchen of the ship, which is called the galley, <laughs> in case you didn't know. If you're working on a ship, you still need to eat after all. There's also some notes here. That's actually the reason why we're in here. <laughs> and this refrigerator actually has a couple of eggs. <laughs> I see what you were going for here, Rare. <laughs> Aha! A mumbo token. Allow me. Ow! Stupid bear! You'll have to learn. That red hot ovens tend to burn. <laughs> You could have said so earlier, Grunty. <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> and also be careful for the furnace. Those obviously also are red hot and therefore burning. But once you've got all of the notes in here, it is time to leave again. And that should be the final pipe to enter. Because this guy, yeah. Let's not talk about that guy. <laughs> but there should still be one more window that we can enter. This one, in fact. And this one actually leads to the navigation area. Also, only has a couple of notes, I'm pretty sure. Nothing more. Mumbo token. Okay, that looks like to be everything. Let's go take a look at this map over here. I'm not too sure what this is supposed to be. It does not look like the map of one of the worlds we have done. If this is a reference, then I'm not too sure what it's referring to. Oh, other window. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault. From inside, you're not able to see which one is open. <laughs> Let's finish off the ship area. I'm pretty sure we can do everything we still need to do. This being up first. Yeah, there's a note on the other side too. And now for this puzzle. Remember the code that we actually found a while ago on the ship? It's actually hanging on the wall of the right side of the ship, or the starboard area to call it proper. <laughs> there we actually saw a code consisting out of six numbers. In case you have forgotten, you can actually find it over there. But anyway, I have not forgotten. It is three, one, two, and then one three times. There we go. A reward. A blue egg. <laughs> no, of course, it's a jiggy. It would have been fun just uh, doing a complicated puzzle like this and then getting a reward. One blue egg or one red feather. <laughs> but luckily the game is not that mean. The next thing I'm going to do is actually climb the smokestacks over here. Because obviously we can climb them all the way to the top. We'll be finding a lot of notes along the way. And in the end, also a jiggy of course. Pretty sure the Jiggy is actually in one of the smokestacks. And I don't think it's this one, so let's move on to this one. Okay, got all of the notes. Yeah, indeed. Remembered correctly. This is where Jiggy number 8 is. And the other smokestack actually has a mumbo token. Easily gotten, so might as well also pick that up. For this one we actually need the shock jump pad in order to get up here. 
Thank you. That's 29. It's already more than I actually need for the rest of the game. But still, as long as Mumbo tokens remain easily accessible, I'll still pick them up. Just to show off where they are. And... Yeah, the final thing that we need to do on the ship is actually in this area over here. But for that, I actually like to go to the side area first. And that is because the crane is actually going to be involved. As you can see, there's a giant hatch here. And a giant TNT box hanging over it, attached to the crane. And therefore, I'd like to go there first. Um, I don't think there are any ladders in that area, so... So, let's go the long way around. We can actually also climb this TNT box that we see hanging around here. The rope it's hanging to is climbable. So it can also be used in order to get to the side area over here. Oh, and there's the witch switch, as you can see. However, I'm going the other way now, so don't mind me if I hit that later. <laughs> we'll be back here, of course, so we can also do it then. But let's at least open up this giant hatch. It's pretty obvious the TNT box is actually meant to do that. <laughs> so, once we're back on the ship, we can also enter the final room of the ship we haven't seen yet. And in the meantime, let's go pick up all of the other stuff on the side first. Here's another one of these tall bridges. This one requires six. And a very narrow zigzaggy path will actually appear. And don't try in putting more eggs in this one. It won't help you here. <laughs> this pathway will remain annoying to traverse. We all know how big of a fan I am of narrow ledges. <laughs> but once you get to the middle area here, you will actually find three giant containers. All three of them can be accessed. However, the second one appears to be closed. And that is because... That one needs to be accessed from the top. <laughs> and this container actually houses a Jinjo, I'm pretty sure. It can be somewhat of a maze in here, so do be careful where you're going. There's not a whole lot of stuff you can miss here. Uh, but like I said, there is a Jinjo in here. <laughs> kind of forgot where he was, but usually not that hard to find. Pretty sure there's nothing else in here, just a couple of red feathers. But the most important thing is trying to find your way out of here again. It's not going to be easy. Need to get back to that hole in the ceiling again. It's the only way in and out of here. Let's see if we missed anything in here. Oh, there's a mumbo token in here. So, for reference, there is a mumbo token in here. <laughs> I have shown it off. I don't have to pick it up because I already have enough of them. I'm just showing off, there is one in here. The leftmost container actually has notes. So, also go in here. This should be the final set, I think. Might also be a couple left in the third container, but I'm not too sure about that. We are getting close, at least. Ow! <laughs> okay, in that case, let's try approaching it from the other way. <laughs> you! Revenge! <laughs> 96, so indeed, there's still a couple left in the other container. That should be the final set. Third container is also pretty easily accessible. That one also just has an open door. <laughs> and yeah, here they are. The final four notes of this world. And not the final boombox. <laughs> There's still plenty of those guys left, it seems. Go away. Let's see what more you're hiding in here. Okay, a couple of eggs. And nothing in this corner. Okay. Let's move out of Boombox City and continue. <laughs> oh, you also get one up if you kill all of them, apparently. Did not remember that. 
But it also seems to be a thing. Okay, that was Container City. Let's move back to the crane. There's still one more thing we need to get on the side area. And he's already waving at us from a distance. <laughs> There's still a Jinjo here. The final Jinjo we still need to get. The orange one. And that one is all the way at the end of the toll bridges. Okay, this pathway is a lot easier than the previous one. Three more of these poop monsters in order to hinder us. And none of them were successful. Jinjo number five equals Jiggy number nine. Only one more Jiggy to get in this stage. And we all know where it is. A Jiggy I always like to save for last. For this one, I always feel... It is the most appropriate to get it last. However, we're not going to enter that room quite yet. Because as you may remember from a couple of moments ago. There is also a witch switch we need to press. Which is all the way up there. And this is actually pretty difficult to reach. As you can see it's pretty far jump. And therefore pretty hard to actually get to. Probably the most difficult witch switch in this entire game. This one usually takes me a couple of tries before I get it. <laughs> Especially since I always forget how to actually jump to it. Uh oh. Come on, grab the rope. <laughs> I'll just cut to my successful attempt if this takes too long. Because uh, trust me, uh, sometimes this can take quite a long time. <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> okay. Attempt number four. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Why is this such an annoying jump rare? Why was this necessary? <laughs> but anyway, in the lobby, we will actually see a Jiggy will spawn. Something we can get once we're done in here. Oh, there's also a mumbo token here. Don't mind me. And now it's actually time to finally go to this mysterious hole in the ground. The final room of the rusty bucket. The final jiggy. Let's go. This room looks suspicious. Uh oh. Who dares enter Boss Boombox's hold? I've hidden my jigsaw. You'll never get it. Aha! Say hello to the very first boss fight of this game. <laughs> Something we've been missing in this game. Bosses. Rusty Bucket finally actually has one. <laughs> boss Boombox. And he works pretty simple as you can see. We need to pound him. We can do that with uh, any form of attack. It does not really matter which one. And once we get him, he actually splits into smaller pieces. And the best way to take care of him is to just use your Wonder Ring and plow through him. <laughs> Eventually, all of his pieces will get to the size of a regular boombox. And then they will definitively get destroyed. Ah, you've splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it really. Yeah. But I do want it. <laughs> the first boss of Benjo Kazooie is Jiggy number 10. Awesome stage. Definitely one of my favorite ones. However, it seems to be over. We have got every single thing in Rusty Bucket Bay. And now that we're even full on blue eggs again, it is time to leave. We can scratch World 8. And it's time to return to Gruntilda's lair and start looking for World 9. This game is far from over. First things first. As you remember, the witch switch actually gave us another Jiggy to collect. Grunty admits she's a hawk. I really need a big hot dog. <laughs> hey, good idea, Grunty. 
I'm also starting to get hungry myself a little bit. I think when I'm done recording this episode, I'll uh, call it a day and actually start eating myself. Up here, in the first room of this area, when the water level is at level 2, we can go up here for the Jiggy. The ninth one in Grunty's Lair. Only one more remaining. And while we're up this little platform over here, we can actually also find this over here. And this pipe also leads somewhere. Up here we find the level 3 water switch. <laughs> There's even more. The water will now reach its maximum height. However, this one is just temporary. As you can see, 30 second timer. And therefore, there's something of interest to find. However, not in this room. When you press the switch, we want to go to the other room, where the water obviously also has risen. And here we want to surface all the way at the top. And here we can actually find a cave that is now on our height somewhere. No, oh, there it is. Too late. Oh! <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Obviously the trick here is to know where you actually need to go. <laughs> but luckily it's not too far out of the way to reinitiate it. Let's go to the first room again. Surface here. Enter the pipe. And we're back at the switch. Only this time with the knowledge of where we actually need to go. <laughs> Let's try this again. I have a hunch I can do it a little bit more successful this time. Now that I actually know where I need to go. We need to surface and turn around, apparently. There you are. Let's see what is hidden up here. This is definitely a well-hidden secret. Aha! Here we find the next Cheeto! Bear and Bird getting good at finding Cheeto. So, another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck. So, in the burning fire I'll chuck. <laughs> find Cheeto, which won't. Code you must enter on Sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove is Gold Feathers. The final cheat in this game, by the way. Gold Feathers. And in putting that will obviously double our Mumbo tokens. <laughs> uh, we are in the vicinity of some warp points, however we are going to be in the vicinity of a better one later on. So I'm still going to continue and input this cheat later. First I'd like to continue, there's still one more cauldron that we need to find, it's actually really near Treasure Trove Cove. We're about to find the second one, through the next note door. The World 9 area is only accessible with 640 notes, so definitely make sure you have collected more than enough throughout at least 7 of the stages. And the next area of Grunty's Lair is now open. And in this green tunnel we get greeted by uh, fun little obstacles it seems. If you'd like to save up on your gold feathers then you could try to avoid them. But as you can see that is not per se easy. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I concede. <laughs> Give me back my health. All of you. <laughs> And I was thinking about saving up on my gold feathers. <laughs> but it does not matter, I'm going to input the cheat in a minute anyway, so... That will also fill out my gold feathers again. Let's go see what we have in this new lobby. Let's make sure you don't bother us, and let's go see what we can find in here. Up this hill, we find... World 9. But of course, the door is still closed, we still have not seen a puzzle yet. Didn't we see a puzzle yet? 
if you remember correctly, we did see the puzzle of World 9 already. However, we couldn't do anything back then. It was very, very early in the game, but still. <laughs> it is in fact a puzzle that we did already see. Oh, and here's the next note door, by the way, so um, allow me to ignore that. We're not done with this area yet. <laughs> Here's another tunnel. I'm pretty sure this one just leads back to an earlier lobby. Yeah, this one leads back to the previous lobby. However, you can obtain a Mumbo token from here. But besides that, we're not really going this direction. We were going over here. Where we can actually find the solution to the mystery of the unsolvable puzzle. Pressing this switch will finally make the Jiggy switch appear at the puzzle of World 9. Oh, hi Brantilda. <laughs> I was going somewhere else, but in the corner of my eye I saw you. <laughs> Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is bursting boils. This poor guy called Dirty Bertie was her first and only boyfriend. And her second one is called Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> when she was younger, Grunty used to have a greasy warthog as a pet. Hey, I think you are that greasy warthog. <laughs> okay, um, in order to get back to the early parts of the lair quickly, you can actually go in this secret tunnel over here that's hidden in the tall grass. And here we can actually find the still missing red cauldron. And like I explained a minute ago, this is actually by far the best way to warp in the castle. Because this will bring us back to the Clanker's Cavern area, as you can see. And Treasure Trove Cove is also very near it. So this is by far the best warp in the game. <laughs> it definitely is. But since we are here, let's go take care of that final cheat. Now that we have the ability to also double our gold feathers, and therefore having doubled all of the regular collectibles in this game, we have no need to come back here anymore after this. I'm starting to get used to killing this guy, in all honesty. <laughs> but okay, uh, we were here for you. And I don't mean the letter U. <laughs> I mean the letters G O L. D and feathers we've already spelled last time, but we need to do it again here. At least the final three letters are in a row, so those are easily accessible. E R S. Twenty gold feathers you get. New maximum twenty is. Gold feathers you may have twenty. But bruises, you'll still get plenty. <laughs> yeah, gold feathers. They're fun and everything. But they, of course, only work if you actually use your Wonder Wing. Otherwise, you can still get hurt. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. This has been it for today. Next time, we are going to make something out of World 9. See you folks then. And Shriek's out.